Welcome guys to another video on the Book of Boba Fett. Today we're going to be reviewing Chapter 4, The Gathering Storms. I think this was probably the weakest episode we have. Um, it really pretty much was a filler episode. Now I'm not saying it's bad, but it is really just a filler episode. Most of it is kind of just like Boba's memories. We don't really get much present day stories. But um, overall, I probably have to give it like a eight, seven, eight out of ten. All the other three, I'd give like a nine out of ten. So that's the end of my non-spoiler review. Now onto my, now onto my spoiler review. So basically, in the last three episodes during Boba's memory, we pretty much have it like taking place within like instantly to like two, three months after Return of the Jedi. This one did all the way up at um to season one of The Mandalorian when Boba rescues Fennec Shan. So that begs the question, what was he doing in those last five years? Like, was he just kind of trying to get a ship and then eventually Fennec Shan helped him get a ship? That's kind of what seems like was happening. Also, it seemed that he never knew Bib Fortuna to go for Java. It seemed like up until Fennec told him he didn't know, which like, if he was trying to steal a ship from him, why? It seems like he would do some studies into it. But anyways, at the end, we find out his Bodica tank fully healed him. It was fully healed, so he didn't need to be in anymore. So it looks like that's the end of the memories for Boba. I would like to see him, like, we saw how he kind of, like, heard Fennec getting shot. And then we saw him, like, walking up to Fennec Shan and, like, um, going on from the scene we saw in um, um, The Mandalorian Season 1, Episode 5. I would like to see like him having a memory of seeing Mando go away with this armor. Maybe that's just me, but that's what I think. I like how um, Boba has like a relationship with a bunch of just animals in it. Like the second Sarlacc and then that one other one. I don't I don't remember. It, it starts with the V, that like hairy beast he was riding before he got his ship back. And then they use that, like, blow up silent thing that they used in episode two and the Mandalorian season two. So that was cool. They used it to kill the Sarlacc. So the Sarlacc was dead by the time the Mandalorian season two came around, but he wasn't dead in season one, which is kind of cool. And then at the very end, they like hire people to go find the mayor who's working for the Pikes. And at the end, they say with the right with money, they can buy muscle. And then Mando music plays. So that makes me think, is the, is Mando gonna be in um, these next few episodes? Because season two is over. This takes place after season two. And while The Mandalorian season three has been like announced that there is gonna be season three, it hasn't been like confirmed, confirmed. So maybe instead of doing Mandalorian Season 3, they'll just bring him into the Boba Fett show. Or maybe they'll do bring him into Boba Fett show, then set him off in his own story. So Boba Fett Season 1 will take place in between the Mandalorian Season 2 and 3. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think down below. But yeah, it was cool to see how Fennec Shan like, joined Boba. Originally, it was just a deal so she could return him for saving her life. And then at the end, she decided to eventually join him. I do think that, like, rabbit droid thing Boba was chasing, that was, that was kind of pointless. It wasn't really needed. But yeah, other than that, um, that's really all I have to say. So let me know what you think. Thanks for down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't ever miss a video. Um, check out my reviews place, which has all my Boba Fett reviews and all other reviews I've done down below in the description. Um, I'm super excited for these next few episodes. I'm obviously going to be doing reviews on those. And I will see you on Tuesday for Cheerless Tuesday.